Hello everyone, and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the new Fallout TV series that dropped on Amazon Prime Video, and I'm going to tell you if I recommend you to watch it. I'm going to be looking at this show from two perspectives. People who have never engaged in the Fallout series before, or newcomers, and people who are fans of the games. I'll start with a smaller, non-in-depth, non-spoiler review, so you can still see my thoughts without the show actually being ruined for you, because you already know what's going to happen. I'll be putting my likes and dislikes into separate categories, such as set, character, etc. It's difficult to show because the show just came out, so there's not that many pictures and videos, but the set design and props, and this will really matter to the Fallout fans of the games, it's really good. The comics, foods, Nuka-Cola, the armor sets for the Brotherhood of Steel, and so on. So many things look really, really accurate to the games, and it's quite impressive, honestly. It really, pretty much everything fits, honestly. The same is true for all the creatures and robots, and for the non-fans of the games, this means that it's very consistent in the 1950s aesthetic, which the series normally has, so it's very visually interesting. You'll, uh, you'll come to love it, I'm sure. Cinematography-wise, I think it was a little bit still at certain points, but it had some visually interesting shots, and it's well lit, so it doesn't look terrible when you're watching it, it's pretty consistently good there. When it comes to the main characters, I didn't find them that likeable, and I wasn't heavily invested in their story, I just didn't really click, there was no connection for me, but I have looked online and that doesn't seem to be a problem with most people, so I don't know, that might just be a me thing, don't take that part too seriously, because the writing isn't bad or anything. I don't think it's amazing, but there's no major problems with it. I think the comedy sometimes didn't hit for me. There were some pretty good jokes, that, if I remember correctly, but a lot of it just wasn't great for me. But again, comedy is very subjective, so don't take that too seriously. It definitely fits with uh, the Fallout vibe for the Fallout fans out there. The acting is fine for the most part. I do think some people were a little bit stiff at times, but besides that, it's all good. The only thing left to talk about is the actual story of the show, and I feel like I need to put a disclaimer in for the Fallout game fans. I'm not going to be talking about the story in how it affects the lore of the games. I'm going to be making a lore breakdown video where I go over all the lore, but also give my opinions. I'm judging the main story based on the actual quality of it within the show, not on the greater universe. Uh, I hope that makes sense. I think the story they were going for was way too big and way too ambitious for a first season, and because of the pacing, which wasn't great because it was only eight hours, I don't think there was enough time to develop these ideas and characters effectively, so I do think that's a pretty big flaw. The story ideas themselves aren't bad, but I think they were executed a bit wrong. I think the show should have been a bit longer to flesh ideas out and just refine it a bit more because I feel like the way it leads into things it's just, it's not as good as it could have been on that front, but the overall story's not bad, but it could have been a lot better in my opinion. With all that being said, I think the show sits at a 6.5 or 7 out of 10, which is pretty harsh compared to the Rotten Tomatoes audience score of 84% currently, but I am honestly a harsh critic. It takes a lot out of media for me to be impressed, and Fallout is basically my favourite franchise in gaming and media in general, so definitely check it out, because I think you'll like it more than I did. Both the general audiences and the Fallout community seem to generally be liking it quite a lot, and it's definitely not a cash grab where they just take a franchise and ruin it, it's definitely made with love. It's not perfect, and there's plenty of things I didn't like about it, but I can definitely say that even though I didn't personally love it, it's by no means an actually bad show. It just had a lot of lost potential, in my opinion. Now for the in-depth, spoilers-included review. If you watch the non-spoiler review as well, for whatever reason, I may repeat myself. Apologies. So, first off, the set design and props and monster design, robot design, basically everything, even costumes, very well done. Very accurate to the games, but it also just looks great, so that was probably my favourite part of the entire show, was just the atmosphere of the games come to life, 
every little bit. I was like, I keep looking at the screen and I recognize, oh, that's this, that's that. There was even, they were watching on a TV and it said Radiation King. And I was like, <laughs> that's great. You know what I mean? So it's very, very well detailed when it comes to all of the different items in the world. It feels like Fallout. It's not just some general random apocalyptic show. It's definitely the Fallout show. When it comes to cinematography, I thought it was, for the most part, well done. There were some interesting shots, things looked really good, of course, that's part of the set design. But there were scenes where it was just kind of still framed, or it was constant character back forth, back forth, and it was just, I don't know, a bit choppy at times, like a Marvel fight scene or something. Although the fight scenes were actually pretty good, but it's just like that many cuts. I don't know, I didn't really like that aspect, but for the most part, it's well lit and well shot. Now, when it comes to the characters, I think that's where the show starts to lose me a bit, because I didn't really form an emotional connection with any of the characters, but I hear that's not a problem for a lot of people, like a lot of people do like these characters, or at least felt for them, but besides my own personal thing of not really latching onto them, I didn't like a lot of the aspects of their characters, and I think that their character arcs were done poorly, or their character traits weren't done well. So Lucy, in my opinion, is too naive for too long. It's only till like the very end where that starts to stop, and I think that should have happened a bit earlier, or it should have been a bit more gradual. I feel like it was a bit too sudden, maybe. I'm not really sure. But that's not too big of a deal. Maximus is more of a problem because he's a character who we're seen wants to do good that's his whole thing he wants to help people it's why he wants to be a knight but he has no opportunities in the show to actually do any good the majority of his actions are at worst pretty damn bad or at best just neutral i mean he lets the knight die granted the knight was terrible not even really a good brotherhood soldier or a good person but he did just let him die and then he takes the fusion core and gives it back to Vault 4, so that's like a net nothing. And then there's the relationship he had with the Squire, which he was trying to do good, but didn't really end up doing anything. And of course, he tried to save the guy who was, uh, you know, the chickens, and yeah, that was definitely a joke that happened. But um, I think he should have had more opportunities to actually do good, since that's his whole character trait, is that he's like, an actual noble knight. He doesn't get to do that at all, not even in the finale, really. However, the ghoul has to be my least favourite character, because he was shown as a bit of an anti-hero in the trailers and promotional materials, but I think they went way too far with this. I mean, pretty much all his scenes with Lucy are terrible. He used her as bait, sold her organs, or tried to... He was just a general ass to everyone, and he didn't seem to really care that he was killing people, even if they weren't necessarily terrible, like the son of that guy, where he's getting the information. And it's just like, honestly, he's an interesting character, because he's pre-war, and he has his daughter and the wife, and there's all the vault tech stuff, but I don't like him, Like, and he's one of the main characters. They just went way too far with it. It's like, at this point, he's just a secondary villain, but you want me to care about him. I don't know, they needed to turn it down, I reckon. When it comes to the secondary characters, I don't really have much to say about that. I think there was maybe too many jokey characters, and the main villain, who's actually kind of good in the end, I don't know, I didn't really like it. Felt she was a bit underwhelming. I liked the psychological war game kind of stuff with her dad, but I don't know, the dad himself as well wasn't that great because all that stuff happens near the end of the last episode so there's like no room for it to breathe and it's just like a worse version of what happens in Fallout 3 with the dad which is obviously what they base it off. When it comes to the overall story I think it was way too much for one season and just overly ambitious and really high stakes and big reveals I, th I just think it was too much and it's also not that well done when it comes to the pacing. I feel like things just kind of happen, especially with the pre-war stuff. It's interesting, and I get the idea they were going with, but I feel like the execution was a bit off because there's not enough time in the show since it's only eight hours 
But also, it, it's strange because things are happening constantly, but it also feels slow, and there's also not that great character development. So I honestly have no idea what they would do to fix that. I just... The way that it was done, it feels like a lot of character stuff is incomplete, and the reveals don't work as well as they should. Although the way it unravels with the ghoul and his wife pre-war was probably the best done part of the pre-war stuff, but it's still not great. I just think it needed better pacing. I don't know how I would fix it, but it definitely needed better pacing. Just a little side note, but the romance between Lucy and Maximus felt really forced to me, like, and out of nowhere. Obviously, I knew they were setting it up, but it did not feel natural to me at all. I thought the overall story was kind of lackluster, to be honest. Their journey didn't really feel as impactful or interesting as I was hoping it would be, and the whole unlimited energy thing, I, I just wasn't that interested in it. Uh, I also think that just in general, it did an okay job at describing the different factions and events, but I feel like if you're a newcomer, you would probably have been confused, especially by the Enclave, which they don't say who they are or what they, they do or anything, so... I just feel like everything needed to be explained a bit better and they need to cut or rearrange certain things because it dragged a bit and it wasn't as interesting as it could have been, their whole road trip. I don't know. Definitely could be improved in Season 2, though. With all that being said, I think the show sits at a 6.5 or 7 out of 10, which is pretty harsh compared to the general audience opinion. I said in the mini-review that the audience score on Rotten Tomatoes is 84%, and I think IMDb is similar, I think it's a bit lower. But the thing is, I'm a pretty harsh critic, it takes a lot out of media for me to think it's really good, and Fallout is one of, if not my most beloved franchises of all time, so I give it this score not because I hate it or I wanted to hate on it, it's just I expect it a lot, and I didn't really get it. I still definitely recommend it to everyone. I mean, it might not be as good of an experience if you haven't watched it and you watched the spoiler review, but if you're one of the people who has watched it and just wanted to hear someone else's opinion on it, I think it was decent. It definitely wasn't bad, just because I didn't like it. I'm not going to be so vain to say that it was terrible. It definitely wasn't a cash grab or anything like that. There was definitely love put into it by both the actors and the directors, writers, etc. But it just wasn't as good as it could have been. And it is a bit of a disappointment, to be honest, but I hope they improve with Season 2. And I still, like I said, everyone should should give this a go, see if they like it more than me. I definitely think most people will like it more than me, because I am very harsh. I reckon for a lot of people that 8 out of 10 is accurate, maybe even higher. And if you want to see what I didn't like about it on a lore perspective, I am making a separate video on all of the lore, breaking it down, but also giving my opinion on whether it's good, bad, doesn't really matter. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment on what I did well or what I could improve on, or just your general thoughts. What did you think of the show? I've been Sweet Tripod, and I'll see you in the next one.